to give you some idea just how large this heritage build is, I'm um, going to record a flight across it. We're starting off at the south end and uh, we're going to be going up from there. And flying across the water. You might want to go get a cup of coffee or something. <coughs> it's going to take a while. This area that's all water could, of course, be transformed into land, but we're looking at having a ferry system that takes people to different locations. We should be coming up on the village, just over to the right hand side once we get past this point. <coughs> and just a reminder that the build is only about six weeks old at this point, so not a lot of effort has gone into um, populating the landscape with trees and that sort of thing. That's all to come. And finally we see the village to the right, <coughs> and we'll explore the village in greater detail in the time to come. But as you can see there's still a fair amount of land behind where the village is as well. I'm told that this amount of land is it's approximately 240 times bigger than the standard Second Life sim. And there we go. It appears that we've reached the other side. Though you can see, you know, we're going down roughly down the middle, and you can see that there's land in the far off distance to the left, and land in the far off distance to the right as well. So the scope of the size of this build is just uh, breathtaking. Well, thank you for bearing with me during that journey. Um, not a lot to see at this point, but I do hope that you will visit the village and see what surprises we have waiting for you there. <coughs>